Hi everybody, Steven here. If you've never been to the Fenland Falls Auto Flea Market and Car Show, stick around. That's what we're gonna go and check out. This is my first time there, and I actually scored something. I actually purchased something, but stick around to the end and you'll see what it is. Thanks very much. Have a great day. See you soon. Everybody, Stephen here. Uh, got Randy, my son-in-law. We're actually gonna go. <laughs> we're actually uh, sorry for the shaking. We're in a Dodge vehicle, so <laughs> anyhow, we're on our way to the uh, Fenland Falls uh, car show and flea market. So it is Saturday. What is it? August the fifth. Yeah. yeah, there we go. August the fifth. I got that one right this time around. We'll see you there. Bye bye. We arrived here at the Finland Falls Fairgrounds. We're just going to the entrance. How's it going, buddy? How How's it going? You? This is Randy's job, dad. Man. Randy's dad. His name's Don't Randy, too. <laughs> yeah, tell me you're on YouTube now. Don't tell me. Fifty here 
I used to pull scrap cars for years. You know? Pulling car bridges off. Right there. Every 15 you took off, you got one good one. Yeah. yeah. What are you getting? Right huh? What are you getting? Yeah. A bag of rocks here for my wife. Yeah. Bag of rocks? Yeah. I got a bunch of them. Give me some for <laughs> no. 250 at my place. <laughs> I think they're just pretty. Yeah. Buy an oil filter from a used table. See the coasters over here? Pretty good. So, we're coming through Finland Falls 
And I'm like, I don't, I don't know where this is, right? So we're like looking it up on Google, and they're saying Finland Fairgrounds. Like, where the hell is Finland Fairgrounds? Yeah, so we're, we're coming, we're coming. Or yeah, we're coming in, we're coming in. I'm saying, you want ready? I think it's back there, right? I go, I don't know, I've never been to it. So I get, pull over. I go because the lineup go back no. is like brutal long. So we pull over and we're both on our phone and we're like, can't find shit. So oh, there's some people walking by. I say, hey, do you know where the Finland Fairgrounds? She goes, right there. Like we're literally There's half no a signs, yeah nothing. we're like half a block away. So Randy was like, it's the first yeah. time he's gotten lost and got and was well, there. Have known he was here last year. Well, that's what I was asking him because I'm not sure because he got lost on the way back last year too, right? Yeah, there's no signs out in the road, no arrows, no nothing. You, you know? figure like one yeah. of the biggest freaking things the town's got, and nobody decides to put a sign. Okay, we're going back. I know, and uh, 14 inch strokes. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Done. Yeah, you got one of these phones here last year, didn't you, Randy? Yeah, off of that guy. Yeah, that's still in the sandbag. <laughs> <laughs> you got good juice out of that one, huh? That's how rare that car is. How do you two, man? Hey, you two.
Bring your car. Oh. I brought it up here last year. We brought it in here last year, yeah?
Randy. We have guys too, they have to. Seventy one over here. Just look at the 71 Mustang convertible there. Where's Randy? There he is. Is that a tree now? The yeah. yellow one? <laughs> There's bigger than I thought it was. Yeah, it hey. See this? The 71 convertible? The blue one over there? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Looks like a bug. This is a nice shape, man. That's the first car. License plate CWLS 265. Please come to the registration building. License plate CWLS 265. Please come to the registration building. I know, it's that car show. I can't stand it. Oh, it's a car over the friggin' dealership. That's right. You know? I know, I hate it. It's gonna make a rule. It's gonna be at least 40 years old. It's gonna be at least 40 years old. It's funny, because they actually got a commercial now on those. Right? Yeah. Yeah. It's funny, because they actually got a commercial now on the radio, Peter Burrell. They had a um, Z-Bark commercial to talk about the radio. And the guy pulls into a classic, because you can't bring that in here. It's a new car. So the whole start testing with the D-Bark, so they'll stay new. We'll come back in 40 years. <laughs> and I'm just like, yeah. Be there. You know? Well, another Mustang. Yeah, we should have left them much earlier than this. Because we got to be back as a concert at 3 o'clock. Uh, I'm not sure. I gotta... See how he did that front end on that? Wow. It's sort of like the vehicle you have, but you can see your windshield washer fluid. Remember? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You're ahead yeah, of your time. You're ahead of your time. Because this paddle is cracked. You can see it. Go, hey! I love the I love the remote windshield washer fluid detection system you got there, Randy. He has a motorcycle at the cottage with the windshield washer bottle. <laughs> <laughs> With the owner of a Cadillac license plate CWLS865, please come to the registration building. It's a Cadillac in the back driveway CWLS. Brake light. Oh, the brake light. Yeah. Brake light. Guys, be nuts. You leave early in the morning and it's dark and all you see is a brake light. I'm surprised they got these things parked so close to each other. 51, right. 
And John Baldwin renamed the Bates card. Stops for a thing there. Wow, man. Keeps on going back there. There's no way we're going to be able to see them in that. What's the deal here? Like, they, so they entered these cars as a contest or something? Yeah, someone just won. They called this plate up. Oh, yeah? So, how do they judge it? I don't see a whole lot of it in the old cars, and I thought I'd expect to see more fuel injection. <laughs> yeah. I figured a lot of people would convert them over. Oh, you could get a nice kit from Elderbrock for your Windsor. No problems, man. Everything. It's a true. Uh, you're looking at a couple of G's at least, right? They have like um, snipers, the holly snipers. It's like oh, yeah, it's yeah. the throttle body, but eh, I'm not a big fan of it. Because all the electronics is built into the carb. So you got problems, you got problems. 
Oh. <laughs> you got brother, you got brother. Yeah. I like that. So with the, the, the Aldebrock solution. Oh, there's a Mustang there too. The Aldebrock solution. Yeah. There's a few sleds here. I like this. There's a few of them here. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. knocker on the hood.
Crawford Car Show, right? Yeah. Um, yeah, it's a big one. Well, no, it says it's just not going to be posted in those countries, right? See the brake light? Right in the trunk light. Oh, oh wow. Third brake light. Oh, that's a brake light. Yeah. Everybody thinks the brake light. Jerry Lee Lewis and Carl Perkins playing tonight at the Grove Theater at 8 p.m. Right here in the Pembroke Fairgrounds. Come by the booth. They're right across here from the main registration here. Just $55 today for your tickets for tonight. And they're also, get this, get your 50-50 tickets now because the free you know, you draw, you get two free tickets to tonight's show with winning the 50-50. Okay. Right here at the Pembroke Falls Car and Truck Show. All right, everybody, that's it for the Finland Falls Car Flea Market. Make sure to stick around, subscribe to the channel. If you found this entertaining, hit that like button. I actually scored an engine stand. I'll probably put that on the video as well. So we're back from the show, back at the garage here. And this is what I scored at the um, Finland Falls Auto Show Flea Market. It's an engine stand. And it actually folds up so it's nice and neat out of the way. All right. And it's pretty much brand new when you look at it. It still has like, you know, the grease outside of the bearings on the wheels and stuff, which let me just zoom in a bit there. You can kind of see it still there, right? And I talked with the guy, he said he had a Hemi on it for two weeks and that's pretty much the extent of the use it got, right? So it's in excellent shape. Uh, if you wonder what I paid for it, I paid 95 bucks Canadian. So I don't know how much that is in US, maybe like 60 some odd dollars US or something like that. So. I'm happy with it. I got my engine stand. I'll be ripping out the engine, hopefully, 
uh, next month, which should be sometime towards, I'm figuring towards the end of September or something like that. Um, but that's it. Thanks again. Hey, uh, like the, ch uh, like the video. If you found this entertaining, hit that subscribe button. If you stuck around right to the end, I really appreciate it. You have a great day and see you soon.